Well, howdy. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to VR Master League. This is uh, Palador here, joined by Palador and Palador, and joined by uh, already a hyped up Twitch chat. 32 people. Good to see y'all. Uh, we had. <laughs> Somehow. Sorry, you guys don't even have context of so why I'm laughing. But somehow, even in a match that Kangorillas are not involved in, Strambitsky manages to uh, be in this arena distracting me. <laughs> Just a little bit. Uh, so I'm not sure why he's in the, the match. He needs to get out of here before we can start our game. <laughs> uh, but yes. Uh, anyway. Rip Synapse. Why, why Rip Synapse? What happened? Is this new? Is it an anniversary? Has it already been a year? I don't think so. In any case, hello, welcome everyone. I mean, I see Andy there. I see Strem there. Strem, why are you in the... Get out of the arena. We can't start with you sitting there. Why are you in the chat? <laughs> uh. Well, in any case, uh, teams are about to be pinged. Start to, uh, to start when Strem isn't there. <laughs> There we go. Apparently sealables around too. So I can only assume that these two teams were scrimming. Someone was scrimming someone. Kang, that is. Rocktor saying, you didn't see Palador? But see what? What do I need to see? Do I Let me let me let me see. I'm looking. I'm not seeing anything. Stop trolling me. I gotta concentrate here. Who do you think I am? I can't multitask. Especially if you throw in trolls in there, you're going to get a really bad cast if you keep it up. <laughs> but anyway. Hello again. I'm just going to keep saying hello until they start. Uh, we have a lot of people as well as see in the that voice party there. Scrim chat. So, enjoy. Hopefully I won't flub up too much for you. And if I do, it's all your fault. I, I can't tell who's all in there, but... uh, Yeah. Andy W saying spaghetti no spagoodles are best. Single shot saying join VRML spec. Um, sounds like a most ill-advised idea. I like it, uh, but no, it's. I know a lot of craziness is going on in the world, but we're not at anarchy yet. <laughs> when that happens, then maybe I'll join <laughs> the VRML spec. But until then, you're just gonna have to uh, sit tight and and be toxic amongst yourselves. So, uh. Are you nah, dude, I'm central. I'm Chicago. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Not, not a server change. Please tell me that ain't the case. <laughs> well, as they continue, I just. I just may mute this, not because of I'm worried about the stream, but because I can hardly think with all the server talk going on. It's a lot of chatter. But, I do want to read off while we have time. Uh, read the stats here. Oh, by the way, shout out to Instinct and their their new logo there. Uh, very bewitching, if you catch my drift. But I like it. Same with Flare. Another new logo for them uh, as of this last week. So I dig it. Looks cool. Uh, but yes, for Flare, coming in here on the orange side, barring any server changes maybe, they have a 1270 MMR with a win and loss record of 10 and 6. Really strong as of late, no doubt. Uh... Plus and minus is at, at 156, plus 156 over the course of their uh, 14 or 16 matches so far. So very strong season for them. Obviously, game, he's been kind of the talk of the town, or at least the talk of the arena as of late uh, because of his performances. That really has helped Flair uh, just catch fire and not look back. They've been just on a tear lately. Now, they did lose uh, that match against the Kangorillas, that rematch the other day. Epic one, in fact, but, I mean, there's no doubting that Flair is a legitimate team, and uh, they're, they're just going to be right there all along the way, I think, for the rest of the season in those those top uh, few slots. So it wouldn't be a surprise whatsoever at this point. But unmuting now, the players, that is. As, oops, no, I accidentally f 5 my Twitch chat. Didn't mean to do that, so if you said anything important at me, I totally missed it. I was trying to F5 my, my uh, game client. To unmute the players so we can hear all the saucy details of their uh, gaming experience tonight. Anyway, round one's going to be underway, so let's get started, shall we? Staying on the server pleasantly so. 
And uh, first possession being taken here by Game, the hero of sorts. But again, full team effort. Don't mean to just exclude everyone on Flare because uh, their passing has been pretty phenomenal as well as their team defense. But uh, over here, going on the offense, Game taking it, missing it actually as he gets stunned. Kanemaru coming away. Will that be a mail slot to start it off? No, it won't. Package undelivered, but maybe getting it right back. What am I doing with my controllers? I don't know. Right here, though, it's going to go out to the midline, slinging it back there. Uh, maybe thought they were... Enemies as opposed to teammates, so the disc will be lost to Voodoo. Voodoo going for a deep shot and retrieved here only for a moment as Grumpiest Broom is there to contest it as he always does so well. Going in there now for one more uh, attempt and they will get the goal and it's the first two points. So Flair here starting things off in round one. 48 viewers. Wow, that's a lot of pressure. Just kidding. Just call me a pressure cook. As a uh, flare here launches out on defense for instinct and in or against instinct, whatever. See, there you go. I already got my first mistake out of the way, so no pressure for the rest of the way. But here, we'll be cleared into the tunnel now, taken here by Voodoo. Voodoo has another angle at it. Uh, that one might have been good had it not been for the defense. Just cutting off the lanes. It's going to go all the way through. Intercepted by Kavichi. He'll go for that and also narrowly miss it. So that's, again, we're seeing these male slots taken. Kind of unusual at this level to play to really even see those happen. Right there! Guess what happened? A rebounded goal off a double ding of a dunk it looked like. Lots of Ds. Ds what, you asked? Well, don't ask QL Young. He doesn't know. Uh, but that's a very nice play for uh, Instinct here to get on the board. 2-2. Two two. Coming through. So on this launch, they'll be taken by Grumpiest Broom now for that pass up top. Just weaving through all the defense here, taken here by Chrome Platypus. The midline stuns going through, enabling what might be a numbers opportunity, but now getting back into the goal. Doesn't matter, it's going to roll in there for game, and he'll continue his streak, getting some points on the board, and it's 4-2 for Flair. Back and forth thus far. Works out for them quite well. The law is saying smooth. You're you're smooth. And uh Banzi saying game is chillin'. That he is. I mean he's been hot, but also chillin'. Uh, that's kind of the thing about game, and I mentioned it in the last cast when we saw Kang and a uh, Flair facing off. The thing about game and the way he's been playing lately, he is chillin'. Like he his his uh I don't know, just his performances, his shots, like they've been so effortless. We've seen him make in that, that game against Kangorillas the other day. Uh, he had a multitude of deep three-point shots, and they were all so calm and effortless and just chilled. Exactly that. You know, he acts like he has been here before. Very collected, and that's, again, part of what's brought them some success. Uh, not to shy away, though, from instinct. I feel like I haven't talked about them quite enough lately because uh, they're another one of those teams that are, are kind of almost in a similar position as Flair, I want to say, uh, as Flair was at the beginning of the season. Like Flair right now, as we do get... Hmm. The UI blinked, so someone must have left. Maybe that was sealable over in this spectator. Who knows? But anyway, Instinct is kind of in that position where they're still... They've, they've proven that they can compete at the top level, but they're still trying to break off from that, that uh, you know, the underdog label that they might get in, in matches like these. Uh, that's what Flair has managed to do as they... Almost Instinct makes that shot. But yeah, that's what Flair has managed to do. Instinct definitely capable, but they do need to win, you know, some of these big matches. Uh, a game tonight, if they do win it, would be a huge a statement match for Instinct, no doubt. So losing the handles a bit and just getting caught up in the wall, eventually finding the back out, and a second back out, in fact, deep into the midline. So maybe they just need to breathe a little bit, collect themselves. There's a pass sent deep into the hands of Spink, but just taking that one, that was a interesting attempt there. I, I think... Kavichi was diving, so maybe the intention was for that goalie to be stunned out in time, but obviously it wasn't the case. And oh, off the wall there. Uh, we'll just ignore that for a moment as collecting it is game. There he is, and answering the question of Vanzi in the chat. Why doesn't game not have the disc? Well, there you go. He sure does. Only needs it for a couple seconds before finding a goal. And that's what he does, and that's what he's been doing, I do suppose. So, uh, yeah, the question being answered in very quick fashion there. Twitch chat, ever predictive. You guys and your, your crystal ball, or I guess crystal disc. 
catch my drift again. I don't know. But drifting away for that play on that fadeaway pass almost into the hands eventually of Kavichi. He does get there uh, on the other side. Didn't even see him at first. Uh, off that corner post near the red logo taken by Cruzen. And Cruzen going up ahead here to Kavichi. Looking to put it right back up. But all the tough ding just barely out of the reach. Uh, sounds like maybe jamming a finger or something on the dunk attempt as game gets spammed not, uh, in the Twitch chat, that is. And oh, hey, there's game. He's going to take a shot. He's going to miss it, but just barely. <laughs> as they get a recollect from Grumpy and Grumpy a little bit further off, but there's game again. I will say, too, that shot from game was a super difficult angle. I mean, you're talking the, the anti-male slot, whatever you want to call it. That is a tough shot to make from the bottom of the floor, and he still almost got it. Uh, right here, it will be taken back by Grumpy's broom, contested by Kabichi. Letting it loose into the top wedge, taken back by that guy that Twitch keeps spamming. Going in for a shot, missing again, another ding, but good rebound from Spank. So uh, an assist, I suppose, from Cruzen, whether he meant to or not, and that will be a three-point match. Not, not game, a three-point match, Twitch chat. <laughs> so three minutes left in this. Ma Why are you spamming Spank now? What are you doing to me? Well, either way, a grumpy is broom. Don't start spamming grumpy, please. Uh, I don't know why I asked. Anyways, Chrome Platypus will be here with a disc, delivering it up to game. I say with hesitation, but no hesitation on the shots. Voodoo assisted by game. That's right. Eat it up, everyone at home. It's game. Looking good in this first round. Flare up uh, 9 to 4. But a lot of time to spare. Now Voodoo is the man of the hour, according to Twitch. Thank you for keeping me sane, chat. Or maybe insane. I don't know what the new normal is these days, but I'll just roll with it. This is fine. Everything's fine. Uh, Cruzen gets a disc on the other side, I'll, at least eventually off this bounce. So finds it, and there's the man, game, trying to contest it. Another contest uh, by Chrome. Almost thought it was Grumpy, just based on positions, because Grumpy's always all up in there for flair. And uh, Spank getting it to Kavichi. The defense now for Flair retreating all into the goal. They can uh, minus, a, well, I shouldn't say all, but minus a couple in the back line. But uh, you have the uh, clear just partially deflected. Once again, still maintaining possession is an uh, instinct looking to push this forward. They're down by uh, five. Don't necessarily need threes, but they do need some scores. Uh, there's an intercept again by Kavichi. A good pass over to Katamara. The goal briefly open and just enough for him to find the window of opportunity. It's a two-point match. And Kanemara trying to keep his team alive here with less than two minutes to spare. And now spamming chaos. No, see, Ka spam Kanemara instead. Chaos is a team. You gotta at least uh, define the individual here. Kanemara, I know it's long, but you can do it, Twitch, I believe. So, a game trying to lead his team. He believes in a victory right here for him. See if they can get it back. Be a stun coming out. Maybe. Never mind. Dishing it out. So, uh, some clever maneuvering. Actually does get the disc back to Cruzen's hands now in the back line. Uh, there it is here to Instinct. Spank now going on the way. But, oh, very, very crucial cl cutoff there. We still have a uh, time to spare. But, I mean, that could have been a, a good-looking opportune time at a goal, maybe. Still a minute left. I, I think for this juncture I mean flair if I were them I would really just get in goal at the moment have at least one back there if you give up a three at this point you are asking for some trouble so it looks like they will but it, oh it just a turnover and there's game again doesn't get that one through but it looks like a rebound will be underway never mind because laying him out with a punch was spank A good one from them. Again, just keeping their team in this match. 30 seconds left. Two-point match. Uh, one sort of playing in the back line for Flair as they do overtake it. So there's game trying to deliver one. Now it's going to Kanemara. 20 seconds. So at this point, whatever happens, goal goes through. This could be just uh, crucial here for, for Instinct trying to stay alive. There it goes. Striving for the goal. And the two. It's 9-9. Nine to nine. And it's a tie. And it's an overtime at that to open up round one. Couldn't write it any better myself. You're welcome. See, all of your uh, 
your chatter in the Twitch chat has has given these teams strength. It's it's ignited this competitive match to unfold. 11, 10, 9, 8, Keep it coming. 7. It sustains me. <laughs> but gotta love it. Flare and Instinct. So Instinct continuing to impress. It looked like uh, Flare had the the possible, the probable victory there with the last couple minutes, but there was Instinct just staying in it, staying calm, and they uh, managed to just find that uh, the goal twice in timely order. So tie it up. Sudden death. Here it goes. Voodoo not wanting to die and getting it by Kavichi. He'll let it loose for the clear. There goes the stacks boosted. The overshoot. So taken down by Cruzen. Cruzen going deep. Instinct. Oh, could it collect it though? Oh, again. So another one. A punch. Just missing the disc. Now it's in game's hands. Will he do it again? No, sir. Maybe second attempt. There goes Flair. And Flair can't get it in there. One more. Rebound. In game one for Flair. At least the round. So ending it was voodoo, and what a struggle back and forth to eventually proclaim that victory. Great match to start this night off here in North America, ain't it? <laughs> so opening that one up, 11 to nine, woo, flare. Now they came through with a victory, and I know for instinct, you look back at a some of the like the missed grabs and like oh I thought they had it right there could have been that upset situation upsetting the former upset kings and flair <laughs> uh, but no flair just came through you know game didn't uh, quite make that shot but it was a uh, uh, voodoo I do believe I hope so who did come through with that uh, round ender that overtime ender so like I said uh, even though game has been leading the way certainly over the weeks uh, it's really been a collective effort and you can tell too just based off again like everyone has an assist uh, three of their four players have points sorry I forgot to go to the highlight screen for you but they all have points I mean they have saves like the team defense is on point uh, and that's what I'm talking about with, with flares just their cohesive effort as a you know a single unit they're not voodoo grumpy chrome and game they're they're, they're flare they're just a well-oiled machine uh, careful about adding oil to flares. It sounds dangerous. But Instinct are going to come through here and then round two try for the upset again. And maybe we'll be met with some better results. We'll see. Lanzan saying, Cruising going to 10 FPS dunk on ya. On ya, who? Andy? Andy, Andy W? Either or. Uh, here goes the launch and it will be uh, taken back by Cruising. It looks like for Instinct. Gets it there. Sealable saying, Cruising playing in stop motion. He's a very animated player, Cruzin. Uh, he's in those those highlight screens too. You probably noticed in the pregame. So yeah, very animated player is Cruzin. Maybe tonight it's a more like claymation, <laughs> but animation no less. And uh, there goes the clear. Right back to the blue side. Maybe a breakaway goal. There's game with it. Two points. About uh, 40 seconds in. And in comes the waterfall, the upward waterfall of game comments. Highlighted at that. I'm glad you're finding something to spend all your infinite, uh, shout out Synapse, your infinite channel points on. All those highlighted messages. Why not? Game, game, game. And having himself a game for sure. Uh, there's Spank, though, trying to find uh, their rhythm here for Instinct. But Voodoo just gets it back instead. Uh, bad Bounce will find the hands eventually, though, of Chrome. He's going to roll upwards to that pass two game. He's backing it out. Beautiful cross. And it's another goal assisted by game. Chrome Platypus, though, converting. Four points for Flair. It ain't fair how good that passing is. And uh, I'm going to risk tilting Strambitsky incredibly by saying that, yes, a grumpiest broom team has passing that is, that is uh, just about Kang caliber, I dare say, at, at least when they're on. I'm sure Strem loves that. Anyway, but yeah, they're passing just really on point. Gotta love to see it. Uh, over here, Chrome Platypus going to dive in. Maybe just a one-on-one, -on -one, it looks like. Uh, just hesitating a little bit, so going for the two-on-one -on -one instead. Why not? Bring on some more numbers. He's got it covered. Six to zero for Flair. See a little bag, a bit up there in the chat, but I had to go back to it. He said, he said uh, Platypunked. I've 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 got to appreciate any any form of wordplay. It it 
deserved looking back at. Uh, Platy pranked as well. As I go in for a shot, or maybe a one-on-one -on -one shot again. Oh, but there's a stack right in time. Getting there. I believe that was Chrome as well. Uh, gets the disc lost, however. Now losing it his game. Taking it back is Kanemara. Slinging it backwards. Intercept to Voodoo. Voodoo getting stunned now by a pair of players. That's going back into the midline. Cruising there for the quick shot on the release. Couldn't find the angle that he wanted on it. So just goes astray back to game's way. Going for a clear. That also takes a bit of a bounce. So not, not the cleanest clear. Uh, looks like Instinct may have a chance at it first. They do. So Spank takes that disc. And uh, loses that disc to uh, Game. So he goes in, and Game is on a roll. Nine points. Flair going up and maybe looking to really pull away in the second round after what was an overtime uh, first round. Instinct really needing, needing to find their strength and their composure. Still six and a half minutes to go. So by no stretch of the imagination is Instinct down and out. This is a team that has taken Kangorillas twice now to a thriller matches. Uh, this is a team who's, again, just come together, you know, integrating Cruzen into the, and, and Spank into the mix in, in, in week one, week two. And have just come together to really impress and upset some teams, no doubt, and, and just kind of establish themselves as one of those dominant up and coming forces in VRML. So if anyone could come back, I mean, Instinct can do it just as well as any other team could. But uh, backing it out here will be Grumpy with that uh, pass back there. Going up ahead. So formation, a bit of a triangle, but that pass a little bit too long. So made it just easy enough. Not that it was easy, but made it just possible enough for the goalie to dive out and cut it off. Uh, luckily, though, the midliner there, they have angles. And going for that angle on the goal, it's game. Uh, he'll continue to just shred it. <laughs> what, what more is there to say? He's up to 12 points, easily leading the way in this matchup. Triple the amount of points as uh, any Instinct player on his own. So continuing to put on quite the performance as Cruzen continues to claymate. He's going to try and find that disc, and he does. So Cruzen going for a pass over to the other side. Kavici taking that one with a uh, defender right in tow, on the toe for that matter. And going over to the side wall. Will be contested here. See if a uh, game can do something special again. Just misses that grab, however. But look at the backliner, Chrome Platypus, in perfect position. So finding the hot hand if they can. One more pass, but just pass the hand. So Grumpiest Broom now receiving that. Another pass just cut off here, taken by Spank, and he'll get a, a clear that unfortunately just ricochets back out. I know at times Instinct has had that issue uh, where they just cannot find those clears despite their uh, amazing defenders on their team, no doubt. But every now and then you see them do struggle with those clears, so going in to make him punish for it is game again. Walks it right in. And the Twitch chat goes wild. Fingers crossed none of you are playing a drinking, well, game about this because that would be dangerous. <laughs> he is scoring way too much. But uh, over here, Kavici gets the disc over to Spank. So down by a Baker's Dozen looking to get their first points in the smash. A beautiful slap shot. That's a great dime from Spank. So exactly the kind of plays that they've uh, not been able to get off in this round. They had a lot of them in, in round one to get that overtime, but just a little bit sparse in round two. So trying to come back here quite late, see if they can do it. Three and a half minutes left, not impossible. Just need some good execution. But Chrome gets it to, oh no, gets it to game. Talk about execution, game looking to just kill instinct on his own. I don't know what's wrong with that man, but he needs to see a doctor. Just, uh, what more can you say? Every shot, I feel like. You know, we try to be, like, when we're casting, as, as uh, casters, commentators, try to point out the good things everyone is doing. Give everyone kind of equal airtime, playtime, focus. Um, this guy is making it really hard <laughs> to, to, to do that. Going up here, though, there's game with a two. Assisted by Chrome. Game. 
game. And game. What more needs to be said? He is up to 19 points. Still triple the amount of any other player, at least. Um, yeah, two and a half minutes left as this rollout goes for Instinct, starting to kind of feel uh, the pressure here that that margin for comeback opportunity is kind of closing on them. They're still going to try their best. Uh, again, the good ones of Spank to Kanamaro this time. So the two goals that we have seen from Instinct are almost on uh, identical plays there. Just you have one cutter from the left side, you have the disc holder on the right outer edge, and then just slinging it past that's uh, slapped in, tapped in by the Instinct cutter. So that's, again, exactly the kind of passing that Instinct really tries to prioritize, and, and it brings them a lot of success. Just not in round two so far, but a really beautiful plays from Instinct nonetheless. And uh, they will get this one back here. Going to bounce off the wall, and actually, I take it back, so there's a slap. Voodoo missing that one. Chrome trying to go for that pass, and Voodoo puts it home. 20 to four, and at this point, with uh, time very much winding down and kind of in the books, I don't know, Flair could even be pushing a Mercy situation. Uh, just a very tough turnaround here for Instinct after a fantastic round one. Chat flipping out because it wasn't Game who shot that. Well, you know what? <laughs> True. But uh, just trying to be a good team player. Kanamaro, though, go being another good team player, couldn't quite convert that shot because of the, the goal post in the way. A little bit of a tougher angle on the ding. Still will go for another one and a nice reverse dunk from Kanamaro. So, still saving it out. It's a 20 to 6 here. Trying to deny at least the, the Mercy situation off of uh, some good second chance opportunities for Kanamara. So as we launch out here for possibly the final time, uh, 30 seconds left, let's see what Flair can do. I mean, I, I know who they're going to go to. There's Game trying for the pass and gets it to Chrome Platypus. So good job there on the assist. Game to Chrome, Chrome to the goal. 22 to 6 uh, with only 15 seconds remaining. And the chat continues to be on something today. But they're hyped. I like it. Uh, last few seconds will roll out. And as a result, it will be Flair in two rounds coming through with it. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I agree. I agree with uh, what was said there. Good game. Yes, he was. But 22 points. Good game from Flair in seriousness. Uh, Instinct had an amazing first round. Really contested hard. Just couldn't pull through with the win in the end, but that's okay. Uh, again, this is just, they're kind of in that position Flair was in once upon a time. Uh, not too long ago, in fact. And I do feel like Instinct has as much potential as any team to really uh, get there and, and, and start winning some of these close ones. It's just, uh, it's, a, it's a process, you know? It takes time. Even in, even when you want to, like, act like you've been there before, it still takes time sometimes in these, in these close games. Uh, you know, Instinct has had a few losses that were just... They had really great chances, couldn't quite pull it out in the end, but uh, that is to say, you look another month ahead, one, two, three months ahead, I mean, Instinct could very, very, very easily be right there in those uh, top five or so slots, you know, uh, just with, with continued uh, progress at this kind of a uh, pace they've been showing. So, yeah, that will be a victory, though, for Flair. Uh, stats were wiped, but you guys got a good look at, of it on the screen, at least. Uh, MVP, I, I, I won't even say it. You know, you know, I'm being told to look at the discord. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, well, you don't have to wait for a bit so much guy. I'm asking if we can cast because I'm on my way. So uh, that one is out of the way here. We do have one more match up ahead and that will be there is no team versus Guinness in a challenge match. So with invites, hopefully pending. Uh, let me just get myself set up here really quickly. And uh, yeah, we'll be back after the briefest of intermissions for the next uh, and looks like final match of the night. You know, there is a match on progress that's, I think, uncasted between Skull Crusaders and Nebula right now, that being said. But this will be the last casted matches of the night. So uh, there is no team. And Guinness. BRB.
Well, first of all, holy smokes, I just gotta look at the scrim organizer channel and the g game game spectator channel nice nice uh if i could i would attempt to show this on stream and if i was feeling really brave i might even join the channel for the briefest of seconds but i'm feeling very unbrave right now because there are what looks to be i don't even know 20 or 30 people sitting in there either way you guys are kind of insane uh be careful this is not social distancing whatsoever. I guess you're okay, because it is Discord, but, uh, yeah. Okay, well, hello, welcome back to the stream, then. Weirdos. <laughs> Glad to have you. So, uh, right off and underway, not gonna waste any time here. This is a challenge match between There Is No Team and Guinness. So there is no team with a roster of White Dragon, Huzzah, fair enough, and Gygasm tonight. Over on Guinness' side, blue side, we have Mojolly, Captain Will, Leo the Great, and Supreme Buns. So first joust, neutral joust, underway. Uh, there is no team. Last time we saw them was a match against Nebula. Went to three rounds over on Sunday. Huzzah, hold that thought, because he's got the shot. There's two points for there is no team. Now, uh, as I was saying, uh, there is no team. We saw them against Nebula in three round. Thriller ultimately won that game. And then they faced off against Illuminati. And I encourage people to not take the... The score differential in that game at face value because uh, there is no team actually played Illuminati extremely well. Uh, the problems mainly for Tint was just on the defensive end, or on the offensive end, I should say. Uh, but really, their defense was fantastic. There were some amazing plays from a multitude of their players. They had some nice passing plays as well. I mean, you know, Illuminati the expected victors that time, but Tint, I think, in that match, kind of uh, showed people who they are. Obviously, I know the, these players on uh, There's No Team quite a bit, but so many new players in the league, maybe not the case universally. But let it be known, they are a great team indeed. Now, over here on Guinness's side, their team had some uh, you know, impressive starts. They, they've actually faced Illuminati as well. I think in week three, maybe it was. Going in there for a two. Not a weak two, but a strong two. Supreme Buns ties it right up here for Guinness. And if you, if you guys in, in, in game spectator chat over on Discord, promise to behave. Game said game. What? I, 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 I would encourage you to. Game be... said game. What are game you doing? Game What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop game messing with game. me. Game said game. You're killing me, folks. Anyway, guy will take it away. Never mind what I was going to say. I was going to say, if you behave, I would totally, uh maybe go into that that chat just after <laughs> the game is over but i think maybe that's a bad idea either way though guinness getting back on the offense here or on the defense rather tint guy gasm open shots and we'll go for the goal very nice it's a three-point shot and a five to two for guinness So there is no team. Pulling up ahead a little bit. Still got a lot of time to spare, though. And uh, launching out is Guinness. So i got to mention, too, uh, I've said, it, said this a few times for the streams, but being that we have a lot of viewers in tonight especially, you know, just got to give the props once again because Guinness, uh, so, you know, some of their players I do know here, uh, Captain Will and Leo the Great, uh, been playing for a good while. Uh, Mojali and Supreme Buns were kind of the two X-Factors of sorts to me. I didn't really know them as well as the others, but Supreme has been super impressive. He's been uh, lighting it up like last last couple weeks in the games that I've streamed. Really, really lighting uh, the, the score sheet up with a ton of points. Granted, his favorite spot has definitely been the backboard. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, he's been just uh, piling on points. And he's kind of been the game for Guinness. <laughs> now, over on this end here... As uh, Mojolly takes it away, well, good, perfect segue because Mojolly has been really impressing on the defensive end, putting through a, a just bundle of saves every time we see her play. Uh, right there, getting stunned out, fair enough, takes the disc right over, gets it right back, and now the clear. So here comes the boost, 614 left in this match, and going for the recollection, it's Leo the Great. Has Mojolly playing the back line as well, and the goal for a reset if desired. Now, uh, Captain Will comes through. 
trying to get that pass off to Mojali here. White Dragon assaulting. Again, White Dragon. The legendary White Dragon from uh, Ready at Dawn here on one of the teams. As I'm sure you guys know by now, but it's, it's fun to see, see him playing. And he's had some uh, good matches for Team Tint. Uh, getting a snatch here, though, is Captain Will. For Guinness, the opportunity, but just off the hands, past the hands of Supreme Buns, couldn't quite get the disc back. So uh, instead, we'll go right back into the hands, actually, of Leo the Great. So, longtime player, joining in competitive for the first time here in VRML, at least for the first time in a while. I think he may have played at points before, but, uh, you know, becoming part of a consistent team here in VRML, nice to see. A good kind of swing through move there. Fair enough, eventually getting the disc back for Tint. There is no team clearing. But recollecting is Mojali over in the back. So going for a ramp shot, perhaps. Maybe even a pass. Either way, uh, there's two teammates for her on the bottom of the goal there. Going for a shot. Maybe off a pass. And indeed, it's Supreme. A great assist from Leo the Great. 5-4, to four, still favoring. There is no team. Uh, but Guinness bringing it close. So White Dragon rolling out for There Is No Team now. Quarterbacking as he uh, I think he usually does. But uh, again, they do have that, that full roster, or at least had. I'm not sure if they still uh, have six or not. But they have at least five. And going in here now is a Mo Jolly with a disc. But yeah, sometimes it's kind of a, a question of what roster you'll get from There Is No Team. And it's fun to watch uh, all their players, longtime players, going in there for a long time, three times shot on time, four minutes left. That's a beautiful goal from Supreme Buns. Talking about his offense, well, there you go, on a silver platter for the stream, because he's up now for Guinness, seven to five. And no, chat, no, not, not game. You stop it now. <laughs> New match. You, you guys are stuck. You're broken. Refocus here. That was a great shot from Supreme Buns. So that pass there just knocked loose. Maybe will be a turnover going back to Captain Will and Guinness. Guinness taking this lead in the latter half of this round, seeing if they can maintain it or even grow it. So off of some bounces taken here by Captain Will, looking for the back out very wisely. And uh, Mojale bringing this out to the shoulder, going in for one more crossover, but again couldn't. Quite convert, but luckily for them, they're getting these uh, second and third opportunities. Always going to be a boon for any team, for sure. And going in for one more shot, maybe a rebound. A lot of players all piled up. Hard to maneuver, but finally Captain Will does get through. So, took them uh, three or four chances, but at last they get the score. And they're up by four with under three minutes remaining in round one. So up by four again, uh, out on the launch. It's a white dragon Q being going for that pass. Almost cut off by Captain Will, but they'll still get it to Huzzah. Huzzah receives this one from Fair, too Fair Enough. Or sh I should say Fair Enough receives it from him as white dragon gets it back as well. Some good positioning out. You can see them playing kind of every lane here and every angle they can. Top and bottom, center, left, right. Uh, the positioning pretty good there. The pass a little bit miscommunicated, but that's okay because they got the rebound just as well. Uh, there goes a pass over and under, and then on the defender. Guy gets it in, and it's a, a good shot on Mo Jolly. A slow one at uh, for that matter, but, you know, it was just in a good spot right at the feet. Just enough to squeeze it by, which uh, no easy feat. Pun intended on, on Mo Jolly. Shout out Rock Titan for some reason. Why would I do that? Uh, Mo Jolly has the disc here. Q Bing for Guinness now. They're still up ahead by a couple points. Looking for, again, just to maybe spend some clock. And if they can, grow this lead. But they just want to be careful. Uh, don't concede any three-pointers. Only a minute 30 left. And a three against you could be potentially round ending. So just going to try and play it carefully, hopefully, for them. As Supreme Buns looks for Huzzah. Well, actually, Huzzah looks for that grab I should say wasn't looking for him but he found it and uh, over to Mojali Mojali getting the disc back again on another clear and now on another attempt here at the goal to advance their lead to four once more 11 to 7 favoring Guinness uh, courtesy of Leo the Great off of a good boost with his uh, Guinness buddy
Hi Tony saying, well yeah, pointing out it was 50 viewers on the, the, the stream when it was Instinct versus Flare. And the game chat, oh, definitely a hype thing. We're still, uh, still a good amount of viewers here. Right now in the 30s to the 40 or so mark. I mean, I get it though. I get it. it it's kind of like, uh, I guess when you get when you get a LeBron James playing a match. Not that I'm saying game is James, but game is James lately. <laughs> but I, I get it. There's some hype behind Flair lately for good reason, and behind uh, that particular dude for a good reason. But looking for a good season shot. It's fair enough. Bringing it back to two points here. But uh, again, the time not quite on the side, unfortunately. So very close. Very close. But unlike that last match between Instinct and Flair, we'll just narrowly avoid an overtime here, it would seem. So uh, first round going to Guinness, but only by a small margin. Very good round. So give you a look too, real quick at the stats, team stats. Uh, I don't look at that nearly enough as I I should perhaps, but the possession time for Guinness playing dividends here. Uh, I kind of mentioned that about there is no team as well in their match against Illuminati, for instance, and in, uh, or, or Nebula, or at least before the part that I did catch. Their defense is quite good, typically, uh, but just uh, conceding some extra opportunities to the teams they're playing against sometimes. And that, that will always be damaging, you know? A team who can control the pace and can control the disc will find themselves the recipients of a lot of uh, wins at the end of the day that they might not otherwise get. But individual-wise, really a, a cohesive effort from everyone on, on both sides of the floor. I mean, uh, for there is no team, it was five for Guy, two apiece for Hazan, fair enough. And a White Dragon contributing an assist, steal, and 13 stuns. Meanwhile, for Guinness, Supreme leading it with seven points. Not too unusual for him. Uh, 14 stuns as well. Leo the Great, nice stat line with the two points, two assists, and 12 stuns. You have Captain Will with two points and an assist, 21 stuns leading the match. And Mojolly with the two saves and six stuns. So as we prep here for round two and maybe cross our fingers for a round three, thank you everyone in the chat for joining me everywhere you are, whether it's the Twitch, whether it's the Scrim Discord voice party you got going on. Or whether it's in my dreams. I'm appreciative of you guys being here. <laughs> uh, but Captain Will will be here for a pass over to Supreme Buns. First round again going to Guinness. So for there is no team, they need to win this. Let's get those third rounds going on. See that competitive play. I mean, it's already been a good match so far, but I want to see a nail biter. <laughs> the more the better. Captain Will here is going to be contested by Huzzah. So we'll try and find a pass to the opposite side. A little bit mistimed on the lunge. So still getting it back. Those Mojali, those second attempts that I did talk about. Uh, Captain Will has a disc and White Dragon trying to assault. Does so su successfully, but a pass will get through. Mojali couldn't find the second one there. And it will roll to the other side and now just needing to find some boost. Uh, looks like Captain Will gets there first. The defense getting lagged behind a little bit there just by some bothersome defense. So again, getting uh, now stuck at this midline. Maybe taking it away off of that island, the root, as some people call it. I forget the other names for it. What do you guys call this particular island, hey? I know root's one of them. But uh, over here, White Dragon takes it away. Looking for that pass, trying to get it through. Does, is unable to. Mojali is playing the deep back line at the moment. And now retreats into the goal for maybe a back pass to Barrier. So you can see just the kind of the coordination. Granted, they couldn't quite get the second grab. But well, eventually, Leo the Great comes through with it. Still pressuring that mid lane. Uh, there's Mojali again. Huzzah stunning him out. And taken back by Fair. But now Fair having it stolen by Supreme. Supreme doling out some bruising. And now over on the other end, they're going to be cruising for the disc. Not to be confused with cruising from Instinct. We just saw him moments ago. Uh, but over here, Gygasm coming through, but this loses it again to Supreme. So Supreme's uh, handprints have been all over this map at the moment. And the second round, getting some steals now, getting some good grabs, and buying some more moments here for Guinness to maybe convert a goal. So some of these passes a little bit off, but still just playing up ahead and playing hard. Piling up and going for the clear. See National Agency in the chat saying, hey, Pal hey Palador, you just joining us because you missed uh, 
He missed some craziness. Going in for a shot there. It's been a while since I've seen anyone say anything in the chat that wasn't game. <laughs> so you're a refreshing change of pace, National. Believe me. But anywho. Uh, Supreme Buns gets the disc again. How many times have I said that in the last minute alone, it seems like? Going for that clear. We'll go to the other side. There's Captain Will trying to find it off the wall. But we'll brawl with Guy, and that's a matchup you're going to lose a lot of the time because of Guy's uh, brawling ability and just his reach, that physicality of his. I'm sure it gets old for him at this point, mentioning, <laughs> mentioning Guy Gasm's long arms and his height and all that stuff. But it's inevitable. The dude is a beast, <laughs> both uh, as an Echo Arena player and just as a human being. He's barely human. And I mean that in the best of ways. <laughs> Gotta love Guy. So White Dragon getting by. Uh, down low on that pass cut off by Supreme Buns. Again in the midline. Finding a clear. Let's see if uh, they can get back first. But they don't. So we're already, what, four minutes in just about. And sorry, I didn't realize my minimap was closed. Open that up for you real quick. But uh, four minutes in just about. And uh, no scores in the second round. Just stifling at the moment. A cap kind of being put on to the goal. First round was 11-9. to 9, Came down to the last minute or so. Favoring a Guinness. Uh, but right now, again, halfway through the round in another minute. And uh, finally, our first goal. There you go. Huzzah. So breaking the seal. And uh, finding two points at the other end. Late toast in the chat saying I was going to complain about not being casted, but game was playing, so it's fine. Well, thanks for being understanding. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry also that we uh, didn't get you get you cammed or streamed tonight. My bad. <laughs> Captain Will, though, will come through here with a disc looking to make a play for Guinness. Maybe a rebuttal play to find themselves their first two points. Unable to do so, though. And Tint, there is no team going for that deep one that just rattles off the backboard and into the hands of Mojali. So a pass here, Supreme Buns in the tunnel, setting a soft one that's intercepted by Huzzah. Huzzah going for a deep shot, lining that one up, and there's five points now. So after four minutes, almost scoreless, Huzzah now in about a 60 second span, gets five points for there is no team. And just based on the pacing of this game at the moment, that could be uh, very beneficial towards this round two win, potentially. Uh, oh, that potentially being a very bad thing, however, for Guinness, an unfortunate misgrab or miscommunication somewhere along the, the line there. And it did get the open goal for there is no team, so now definitely pulling away in round two. Four and a half remaining. Separate note, I'm almost shocked to see that the scrim voice immediately disbanded. Well, there goes my, my chance to think that I was going to hop in into that server while we were streaming after this one was over. But oh well, I guess we missed our chance. <laughs> uh, over here, fair enough, we'll get the disc for his team here on Tint. They're already starting to pile on the points, see if they can do it again. Fair enough. That's the stuff. Or as Rajumba says over in the chat, not just a three-pointer, but that's a free pointer. And uh, yeah, couldn't say it better myself. Applause on the wordplay. <laughs> So there is no team. They're up ahead here. 11 points now. Dollar Ranger stopping in. Asking uh, what the score of the first match was, the first round was. And that was uh, 11 to 9 in overtime at that. Or almost in overtime. Wasn't in overtime. I'm thinking of the instant game. Sorry, but. Sorry. It was almost in overtime, but closing it out was Guinness. Uh, so yeah, it's really a kind of a, a reversal of fortune here for, for there's no team. Uh, starting to look to, uh, very well together, collected here, getting the disc again. We have a Leo the Great backing it out, but yeah, they're really showing up here. Late Toast saying as much. Tint is having a strong second round. Guinness still, I mean, three minutes remaining in round two and yet to find themselves a, a, a score. So they're going to try and change it the best they can, but I mean, time is a winding down. And uh, I, I know they have the one game buffer, but they certainly don't want to see that round three. Uh, that one not going to buy them any good... Uh, good looks off of that that shot just kind of on a goalie from outside so saved out not quite cleared out two and a half remaining Guinness still trying to find their footing 
after what was a, a great closure to the first round. So now Leo the Great takes a disc. Trying to get that one just through a very tight angle, managed to avoid all the Geo, but unfortunately the disc kind of avoided the teammates as well, so it was a right back to Guy. And then right back again to Supreme Buns. And finally a three point shot from Supreme. Fiery starts the first round for them and for him. Uh, cooled off a bit here in round two. I mean, Supreme Buns at the moment, 10 points on the series, but obviously the, the three points there in the second round, and that's the lone score thus far for Guinness. So as a White Dragon rolls out for Tint, Hazar receives a disc, looks for a cross pass, but Captain Will looks like he was bothering that at the other side fairly well. Uh, will be fair enough going to Guy. Guy over to Hazar. Hazar missing that one initially, but White Dragon is there as well. And takes that one. Uh, the defense is going to be approaching Supreme Buns. Got to watch out for Supreme. His hands have been all over the steals tonight. Really a, a true thief against there is no team. Uh, going for a cross pass play. And what a thing of beauty from Hazard of Fair. More than a fair shot. That was a uh, just a beautiful fundamental cross pass play. 13-3 to three with one minute left in the second round. So really putting it together here and uh, c basically guaranteeing that we're going to see this third round at play. And uh, we'll see if Guinness can just find their foothold. Very much not looking like the Guinness of old. And when I say old, I just mean from 10 minutes ago. Uh, going in there, though, that's going to buy them at least a goal and maybe some feel-good uh, you know, emotions here going into the end of the round. I mentioned even though the game is out of hand, it's still important to get those scores when you can and, and try to execute your plays because if you can do that going into the final moments of a round, you'll at least go into the intermission with a little bit of a, you know, momentum and just something to kind of write home about. Saying, okay, we did something good. There it is again. A steal from Leo the Great. So this will absolutely be beneficial towards the mentality of Guinness as they sail in for yet one more shot to end this round. Uh, we'll be 13 to 8 going in favor of there is no team, so we're still guaranteed this third round coming up. But Guinness made it a fight off of a few in a row in that last minute or two. So nice job by Guinness for a little bit of a comeback and a slight change in momentum, perhaps. So heading over to the score screen, take a look at it. And uh, leading it for there is no team, huzzah! I'm not just uh, saying that in the sense that I'm happy, but huzzah, the guy. Uh, look at that. And not the guy as in guy. And never mind. Anyways, huzzah with 10 points, one assist, one save, 22 stuns, leading the way for his team. And then guy, guy Gasm with 5 points and 29 stuns. Uh, fair enough, 7 points, one assist, one save, one steal, 24 stuns. Uh, White Dragon with 2 assists, one steal, 27 stuns. Over for Guinness. Making some late game moves despite losing the round. That's Supreme Buns with 10 points, 1 assist, 2 steals, 36 stuns. Leo the Great with 7 points, 2 assists, 1 steal, and 31 stuns. Captain Will with 2 points, 1 assist, 31 stuns. And finally, Mo Jolly with 3 saves and 11 stuns. So there you go. But uh, otherwise, yeah, round 3. Always a pleasure to cast the round 3 games whenever they occur. And uh, you, it lets you know that, hey, it's a good one. This one has has been, you know, for, especially for there is no team in that second round. But let's see if they can stop a little bit of the bleeding that uh, Guinness was causing towards the end. Definitely going to be an important neutral joust here to see who gains that first foothold and can find some traction early. Oh, this one really quickly on that headbutt. Always impressed at how quickly and how accurate uh, players and teams are with these headbutt jousts these days. Very precise. But either way, Leo the Great's going to be in their tunnel. There's Huzzah trying to shield off the defender and does so almost. But actually, it's Leo coming through. So Leo taking that disc back for uh, Guinness. Guinness with uh, some back pass options available. And indeed, it will be sent to Mo Jolly. So Mo Jolly over in the midfield. Uh, trying to evade Huzzah. Sends kind of almost a self-pass right back to her. Playing some wall ball here as... Huzzah continues to approach. There's Leo, maybe looking for Monkey in the middle, if nothing else, just trying to play that passing lane as Huzzah, but uh, very good positioning from both Mo Jolly and Leo the Great will just buy them these nice passing lanes to work it up the floor gradually. 
See Dan uh, McFabulous stepping in by the by, just saying, yay, round three. Got home and from work, excited to see this game. Go Guinness. So yeah, welcome to Dano, of course, from Chaos. Team Chaos, that is. Not to be confused with Kanamara Chaos, because that was being spammed in chat a little while earlier in the last match. But yeah. All right, so Supreme trying to go for that deep one, but just no one there to receive it except the players for Tint. So White Dragon comes away with it. Sends a clear, looks like, just forcing their hands. And Leo the Great now right back to Supreme. A very uh, tough anchor pass just to get past the defender there. Was able to do so successfully eventually. Now Mojolly one more. Just past the hands again, but rebounded by Leo. So Leo evading fair enough. Oh, juking him out a little bit. Missed grab, but fair enough. Still sticking with it. Gets a nice uh, short-range boost. But Supreme Buns, no boost at all. Just an anchor. And uh, slinged it in from up top. Going to start calling this the Supreme Spot because... Uh, He's had himself, I don't even know, 30 or 40 points, it feels like, over the last couple weeks from that same spot. See, Caption also stopping in, saying, uh, White Dragon, best dev player, question mark? I don't know. Ask Dave. Uh, Mo Jolly, though, gets a save. But, yeah, White Dragon, obviously one of the uh, more experienced, and I would, I would dare say hardcore dev players. Uh, really, since the early days, between White Dragon and Dave, they always, in, in, in the beta days, 2017, when the game first came out, and even still yet, you see Dave a lot in, like, spectated, or uh, when I'm spectating pubs, I see him a lot. The, the devs, they're legit, man. They, they're, uh, they're, some, they're some stars of their, their own right. Dave would uh, kind of make me look like a scrub in pubs when I was brand new to the game. And even when I wasn't new to the game, still he would sometimes make me look like a scrub. But in any case, looking for a good pass, there is fair enough to Guygasm. And that's a great delivery for a two-pointer and ties it up in round three. Shout out to, to uh, of course, Nathan, Rad Nathan, as well as a special delivery. A couple more of the uh, popular developer players throughout the years. Uh, Mojolly here for Guinness now takes this and sends it to Leo the Great. Leo the Great uncontested over on the right tunnel as you can see kind of the lanes being played by the defense. And a stack coming through trying to dive out is Gygasm. The disc or the goal rather a bit open but just closing it off at the last second but not for long. There's Supreme Buns again. Man he is just cooking on the defensive end. I mean offense yes but the, the amount of steals and slapaways that Supreme Buns has had tonight has been nothing short of uh, impressive. I've said it enough times now that it's kind of tattooed in my brain that, yeah, Supreme Buns, forget the anchor shots tonight. He is just getting a bunch of steals and uh, finding points based off of that. So great job from Supreme. So as this pass makes its way over to an intercept instead, and, and again, these stacks trying to go out, we have a... Softly boosted Gygasm there. Some good contesting from Huzzah just to deny Leo the Great the chance to get the disc. And uh, Gygasm for Tint will get it right back. There's still five minutes left in this round. Third round, of course, so whoever uh, wins this one takes home all the marbles. And Mo Jolly, along with Captain Will, just deep in their back line. And uh, yet to be contested too hard, but there's a miniature crab walk coming in from fair enough. Taking a page out, miniature page out of uh, maybe Ryan Rhino's book a little bit, but Gygasm will get the disc right back for Tint. There's White Dragon again, some boost, a very tough pass, and almost a second one. Wow, that would have been gorgeous had it worked. That was just barely missing that pass, and instead it'll be Supreme Buns. Is he going to get that shot? Almost, it just dings it. Maybe a rebound, a had by Huzzah instead. So Supreme missing that one. Almost unusual to see from him, but hey. So now Huzzah with the disc. The team's spreading out here. White Dragon over there in the left side tunnel. Over on the uh, downside, we'll just have a ramp pass that gets to Mojolly. So Mojolly finds Leo the Great again. Some spacing here at play. It's just trying to go for the clears again, though. Uh, it's a very low scoring third round, kind of similar to how we opened up round two. Supreme Buns, though, will try and change that if he can, and he does, and he will. Absolutely. Six to two. 
So Guinness now with a two goal buffer at least. Pulling ahead by four points here. And seeing if they can't just finalize this, this run as this clock continues to widen down. Still four minutes remaining, so time really not that much of a factor yet for Tint at all. Uh, see if they can get some of those passing plays that they had really nicely in the last round. I mean, again, Tint had uh, 13 points in round two. They had nine points in round one. But only two points here in the third. So, uh, you know, partly due to some good defense from Guinness, no doubt. Uh, right there, so, oh man, again. So forcing a turnover that does eventually turn into a goal for who else but Supreme Bonds. It's eight to two. Dan O. McFabulous over in the chat saying, I swear I know how to spell Guinness. Uh, you know, fun fact, I, I struggled at spelling that too for the first uh, several weeks. Because you know, normally I, especially early in the season, I write the names of the team above my monitor. I have a little, uh, dry erase tape kind of stuck to the top of my monitors just so I can kind of see where the teams are always with, with a, a glance. And it took me three weeks to spell Guinness right. I kept doing it with a, just one N. So uh, I don't know what that says about me, but yes, you're not alone in misspelling Guinness. Don't worry. But on the other side of things, we do have the last two and a half unfolding on this game as it does roll back into the midline. A lot of punches going out. And over on the other side, Mo Jolly just ever reliable on the back line there. Uh, perfectly ready to get the disc back after a few extra seconds. And just waste his clock, perhaps. So just demanding that the defense basically gets dragged out for Tint and just presses up, or else they're going to just keep draining the clock. And uh, that's kind of what you need to do with this kind of juncture. Protect your lead and force the defense to be uncomfortable. You know, play further out than they, they would perhaps like to. So Captain Will, Leo the Great with a the connection there. Backs it out again uh, over to the Merc. Hitting Mojali on the pass. Mojali looking forward, sees that shoulder pass, well aware of it. Going in from the corner, one more. Over to Captain, uh, Leo and rather and rather, and uh, it's uh, over to Supreme. So again, and where was it from? The favorite spot, the anchor shot. Supreme just relentless. Of course, not to take away from Supreme because he's also uh, lit it up from a lot of places tonight. On a lot of cuts, a lot of steals, had some threes, so uh, Supreme Bun's definitely doing more than just the anchors tonight, but if you give him that backboard opportunity, oh, he will take it gladly and uh, has had a lot of success with it so far. So Guinness, kind of a reverse of game two. We saw there is no team for most of round two, just dominating, uh, and then it was a late game comeback from Guinness. Uh, going in here for there's no team off a good play almost, but maybe uh, not quite timed right on the stun. They're trying to go for that three-pointer and kind of need to at this point because it's the last minute. That was behind you, but so uh, just a really good job here from Mojali again, reliable on that goal, and but that one actually conceded to fair enough. So still got the shots. The window is really narrow here, just about closed in fact. Uh, for there is no team. And uh, as I said, almost a reverse of what we saw in round two because it was Guinness who just made a late game comeback in the last a minute to make the score closer. And right now, there is no team trying to do the same, but uh, just no time, so they won't be able to get through, and that's really unfortunate. Sad to say because, uh, again, there is no team. They're, they're right under the cusp there. We know the experience level of these players. And uh, again, I'm just... I think they had a rough going of things against a matchup like Illuminati, obviously, but there's no denying the skill level. So tough turnaround for them, couldn't come back, but full credit to Guinness because them as a new team here in season one have uh, really just impressed and are looking more and more just <laughs> cohesive and collective as a team as the weeks go by and really getting to learn all the various personalities and what these, uh, you know, the skill levels are like. And uh, they're really coming together for sure. But as I said, it will be a 10 to five win here in the final round for Guinness. And the good games all around being heard in the public comms, open comms as well. So always love to see that and love to hear it. And oh, oh, I almost missed it. <laughs> I mostly missed it, the, the post game handshakes. Um, whatever, I'll replay it just because I can. But big fail on my part, because I should learn to expect this from Guinness these days. Uh, they have that nice little 
eight man uh, kind of high five train that goes by. So you love to see it. Absolutely. But with that said and done, let's go to the highlight screen for you. As we conclude our streams for the night, uh, we'll be 10 points a piece over on Tint's side for Hazan. Fair enough. Seven for Guy Gazan. White Dragon with three assists and 36 stuns. Uh, big numbers there. Uh, but the victory to Guinness. And it's 20 strong points for Supreme Buns. Uh, with one assist, two steals, 55 stuns. I think the other... Leo the Great also. Did he... Was I misreading that? Or he also had a pretty big total there as well. But uh, Leo, Leo the Great, no doubt. He led that late... Round two comeback that resulted in this good momentum that they brought onto uh, round three for Guinness. So shout out to Leo. We have Captain Will with two points, two assists, one assist, 41 stuns. Or one steal, 41 stuns. Mo Jolly with one assist, five saves, and 15 stuns. Uh, a lot of nice saves in there. And uh, backline plays, interceptions, things of that sort for Mo Jolly. Supreme continues to impress. Captain Will continuing to be a good teammate, getting those passes in. And then Leo the Great uh, showing what he's capable of as one of the other veteran players here. And, uh... Good scoring output from him as well. So all around, fun games tonight, both uh, with the Instinct and Flare match, as well as There Is No Team and Guinness. Killer Process, or Kill Process over there in the chat saying, come on, Palador, give a little, give chat a little sugar. Uh, by all means, I, I love you. You're very, you're, you're a handsome young chat. You should be proud. I, I'm proud of you, honey. So uh, there you go, sugar delivered. Ashpool saying, "Great announcer." Hope, hopefully that wasn't, you know, a uh, sarcastic thing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I flubbed a couple times. I won't lie. It's okay. Anyways, yeah. Hi, Ashpool. Shout out to him though, because we, uh, I do love playing that Ashpool video, that uh, projection map demo, from time to time. I try not to overdo it too much, uh, but I, I don't think I'll ever take it off the rotation because it's such a good video. Gotta love it. And yes, so see Rocks tagging me in there. Oh, uh, just responding to kill process earlier on who was casting. And Jay Walker also says Guinness takes it a pog. Well, indeed. But alas, that is it for our streams tonight. I will pull up the schedule for you guys before I part ways with you, you beautiful, handsome chat. Too much sugar? Sorry if so, kill process. But yes, uh, so we have the Vibers. Sorry, that was earlier today. We have a Watch and Weaves, another one of those new teams, actually. And they'll be uh, debuting tomorrow, it looks like. It'll be at 1 p.m. Central Time. It's 11 a.m. Mountain Standard. That's my time. Facing off against Alpha Ducks. We also have Reboot and 18 and Under, another new team there. Genesis and Guinness later in the night. So we'll be seeing Guinness again tomorrow, as well as Legends and Instinct. Uh, Skull Crusaders and Nova, Wireless Jacks and Six Foot Over, and finally Genesis and Nova. So, plenty of matches in store for you tomorrow. Hope you guys join me for as many of them as you can. But until then, that's been a fun night of VRML. Again, I'm Palador. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Be safe, be happy, be healthy, and have yourself a fantastic evening. So, see you again real soon.